So for number three, we've got some bits to do with the um, cos two theta graph here. So let's let's think about what it looks like first of all. So we'll stick the cos two theta in there, and we'll draw that. And I've already fixed the domain there. So if, if it doesn't come out nicely, then I'm just going to go zoom and automatically do it, and it, you get that nice pattern there. The only issue here is that this is for all values of theta, and we were told we were only going from minus pi over four to pi over four. So it might be a good time to remind you how to do this. That what we do is we edit this function here, and we put a little comma after it, and we use these square brackets. Sorry, not that curly bracket, the square bracket here um, on the plus. And we're going from minus pi over 4, and we need to go all the way up to comma uh, pi over 4. So we'll close the square bracket there. And now when we draw that, we're now just getting this small part here. So this is the uh, this is the part we're interested in. And we're looking for the tangents to this that are, is it parallel? Parallel to the um, parallel to the initial line. So um, just checking, it is parallel. Yeah, so parallel to the initial line. So we're looking for those ones there and there. They're going to be symmetrical, aren't they? So if it's parallel to the initial line, we're looking for the y1. And y equals r, r sine theta. So we're looking for a sine theta cos 2 theta. Um, that's what y is equal to. We're going to have to differentiate that. And like lots of these, we've got a little product rule going on here, haven't we? So I'm going to write down the first one and differentiate the second one. So cos differentiates to minus sine 2 theta, and I need to times by the 2 as well. So I've also got to write down the second one and differentiate the first one. So I've got this bit here. Now that looks a little bit of a mess, but I've got some um, double angles going on here, haven't I? Um, so let's rewrite. I'm going to write it a bit clearer. So we could certainly take, look, that cos 2 theta Sorry, that's sine 2 theta there. Let's change that to a 2 sine theta cos theta. Let's drag that out, because then I can get a cos theta out of this. So I've got a cos theta coming out of here. Now, the, that one there, I'm left with a cos 2 theta. And this one here, I've got two twos there. Remember, I've got a 4 there. And I've got a sine squared, I think, there. I'm just going to have a think about that, just to check I've got that right, just a second. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I mean, I know it's a bit of a mess there, but hopefully you followed that. Um, let's go another line again. Let's change this. Um, the cos 2 theta. Cos 2 theta is the same as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, isn't it? So this whole big bracket here could be rewritten as cos squared theta minus 5 sine squared theta. And we want that equal to 0. So option 1 is cos theta equals 0. So if cos theta equals 0, then theta equals pi over 2. And that's not in the range we want. So uh, we were only going from that range there, weren't we? So otherwise, then we've got this part here is equal to zero. Okay, so add this to both sides. We've got that. Divide both sides by cos theta. And then I'm getting tan squared theta equals a fifth. So that will give me tan theta is root five. Let's just check that's right. All going good, and I've just inverse tanned that. So the inverse tan of um, 1 over root 5 is 0 0.4205. It's only one answer, isn't it? I need two. I need one top and bottom. Here, wasn't it? Look, there I did a square root. So this is plus or minus, isn't it? Yeah, so you see a live error going on there. I should have square rooted, taken a plus or minus. But luckily, I've drawn the picture already, so I could see I'd gone wrong. Right, so what point have we got here then? So we've got 
plus or minus 0 0.4205 and if we stick that back in up there so the cos of 2 times answer is a little stress there at the end of a five minute video that the calculator didn't give the right answer um, but it's given me it now so it's two thirds so I've just done the um, the cos of two times that but on the calculator I didn't put a bracket around it and it got it wrong so we got two thirds a and plus or minus that um, of course these are symmetrical so um, the r is the distance the same there to there I'm going to stop there and do part b in a separate video